On today's episode of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog, on a little six mile jaunt through downtown, got the half marathon tomorrow, so just taking it easy today. I am not <laughs> running a half marathon. Um, I'm sick. Good morning, welcome to episode 80 of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog. My name is Aaron, great day for a run. on a little six mile jaunt through downtown. I'm feeling sore <laughs> from yesterday. So I'm trying to take it easy, but uh, yeah, great weather. I'm just making my way down to the river walk and then to the Southwest Greenway for a nice little, nice little run. All right, we made it. Beautiful day. Two things, one, I was hoping to go into Har Plaza, but it's once again, fenced off and the fountain is fixed but it's not on so double disappointment <laughs> I don't have much success with fences downtown this year it's been a rough year for fences anyway <laughs> back to the run they started construction on the hotel where Joe Louis Arena used to be the apartment building is done and I think people are living in it now and then they're opening up a Marriott I think like a like a nice Marriott there. So that'll be cool. The Riverwalk extension out around the apartments is still closed. Another fence. I have no idea when that's going to open. It'd be nice if it if it would, but what can you do? I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it looks cool. All right, Southwest Greenway. We made it. So I've talked about this path before. It used to be train tracks. It actually kept a couple of the tracks, which is kind of cool. But uh, it used to be a rail line that ran through here and connected to Michigan Central Station. They've turned it into a path with some park-like structures dotted along the way. So it's really nice. And the path leads uh, directly by Michigan Central Station. This is real nice. Two episodes ago, I went on a tour and uh, put it in the vlog. It was pretty cool. Check it out if you haven't, or you can go. They're doing open house tours, uh, no ticket required. Let's see, Friday's 5 to 9 and Saturday's 10 to 5. The scale of this renovation is incredible. It is a must-see attraction if you're able to go. All right, so now we are at the corner ballpark, which is uh, where Tiger Stadium used to be. Well, let's go check it out. Got the grounds crew out there. It is now a uh, baseball, it's still a baseball field. It's run by the Detroit Police Athletic League um, and they have all kinds of events and stuff here. It's pretty cool. You know, it's cool that it's still a baseball stadium. I really wish it was still where the Tigers played because this area would be, I mean, it is a cool area still. It would be even better, but at least it's still a baseball field. So let's go run around it, why not? Okay, maybe we can't, another fence. Or can we get in here? No, that's the actual park. Oh, this stinks. Uh, maybe we can go wide. Let's see if we can go wide. A little trail running. So when I was a kid, we would park on the other side of the highway over there and walk across this bridge. And I remember coming around this little loop-de-loop -loop and there was like people selling t-shirts, popcorn, all sorts of stuff. And then we'd go into the stadium right here and uh, go to our seats. So it's apartments now. This would have been the outfield, the bleachers. This is cool. You can go right up to it. Little little park see if we can see inside the the actual field uh, I don't know if you can see through the, the holes but this is dead center the flagpole is the original flagpole that they had they were gonna move it to Comerica Park but they ended up keeping it here I'm not sure why but that is like one of the only remaining pieces of the park these gates are also part of the park but they were on the other side they were on Michigan Avenue but at least they kept those so Pretty cool. This would have been K-Line's corner right here. There was like an overhang over right field. And this is Corktown. They have these beautiful old historic homes. All right, I'm gonna wrap this run up. Good run, nice weather. I feel pretty good today, despite uh, the workout yesterday. So yeah, tomorrow I have an off day. Last chance to recover before the marathon and then I have kind of a shakeout run and then the marathon. So I will see you on Wednesday for that, uh, that easy run. 
good morning happy wednesday it's a great day for a run out here on a five mile shakeout run got the half marathon tomorrow so just taking it easy today today i feel not great <laughs> um i don't know a little tired legs are tired um you know it's kind of the point in the marathon training where you know you start to like not hit a wall but like the freshness is wearing off and this weather it's like low 70s this is what it's going to be tomorrow although like you can see all these trees and stuff at the race i'm running it's like in cornfields so there's no trees there's no shade it might be it might be a slog tomorrow all right well about four miles in and i don't feel any better <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna wrap this up just gonna try to drink a lot of water today and see what happens adios record scratch noise i am not <laughs> running a half marathon right now unfortunately so a plague has struck my household uh meaning not gonna be running the volkslauf this year unfortunately first of all it wouldn't be particularly responsible to show up to a race when uh people in my house are sick i don't want to spread anything second of all i just want to be home to help out as much as i can so driving an hour and a half to run a half marathon and back probably not the most <laughs> responsible thing to do so Volkslauf we will meet again maybe next year hopefully we'll see kind of disappointing but it is what it is now for some good news yesterday I got a package in the mail that I am pumped about and that is the New Balance More V5 which I have on my feet right now check those out I'm a huge fan of the More V4s the More V5s came out they kind of surprised me I didn't expect them to be out this soon but uh here they are so i'm trying them out today i'm filming my first run reaction to these shoes by the time you're watching this that video will be live should be so check it out now a little preview for you a couple miles in these are really really soft and again i'm only two miles in so i don't want to make a, a huge judgment yet but i don't know this is interesting these feel like almost a completely different shoe from the v4 but we'll give it a few miles. We'll see how it goes. And I'll capture that sweet, sweet slow-mo footage for you. So check out that video. Should be live now. We got Taco Fest. Let's see if I can get on TV. I'm like over four when it comes to TV hits. They do have a lot of bathrooms for, uh, for Taco Fest. <laughs> Unnecessary thing. Other good news today, it is the 4th of July. 4th of July has the best weather of the holidays it has great food people getting together with their families having a good time i love it and i'm also a history buff so the the history of independence day the founding the declaration of independence all that stuff i love it i watched the ken burns documentary about ben franklin last night which i highly recommend today hopefully everybody has or had by the time you're seeing this had a good day happy fourth look at that look at these deer wow by the way this is my first long run of the uh, marathon training season which my long run pace is last year's tempo pace so just getting used to that but i feel good i feel pretty good so far Shout out. okay that was the best stop i've ever recorded on the fresh brew run club honestly i thought they were going to blow through it the most complete stop and look both ways that's what we love to see anyway i'm gonna wrap this run up good stuff wish i was running the volks off but sometimes there are bigger more important things than running half marathons so with that i'm gonna wrap it up did i already say that i'm wrapping it up people uh hopefully i'll have a hot dog today maybe two we'll see again hope everyone has a happy fourth of july i will see you tomorrow for an easy run good morning happy saturday great day for a run i'm back i took a day off uh, my household got sick so somehow i did not get sick i felt good but it's been a rough couple days but everyone's feeling better at this point so i was gonna do a tempo run today i don't know my schedule's so out of whack i'm just gonna do an easy run the faster easy pace and just reset on monday one of the things that the hansen's method very specifically calls out 
is not trying to make up runs if you happen to miss a run now i tried to rearrange my schedule to account for the race that i didn't end up running so everything is all out of whack but i'm not going to try to force anything i'm just going to finish the week with a couple easy runs and then get back on the track monday and quite honestly i'm not too concerned it's early on i am in good shape i'm not trying to get into good shape so i'll be okay just got to put this week behind me move on see if this car stops nope why would they they never look they never look classic situation there giant truck blocks the crosswalk and then tells me to wait because the giant truck blocking the crosswalk is hiding a smaller car also blocking the crosswalk which it's like i appreciate him for letting me know that there's a guy that can't see me but also the problem doesn't exist if you just stop at the stop sign do so i wait for the truck the truck goes and then the car of course has pitch black tints so i can't see if the driver sees me honestly just don't block a crosswalk i just finished up the conclusion portion of my more v5 video spoiler alert i think the more v5s have a much more specific use case than the more v4s so check out that video to find out what that use case is gonna finish this run up with a little uh, a little trail running taking the more v5s out on the trail oh all right i'm gonna wrap this run up good run just getting back on track so it's all good it's early we got time we got time so tomorrow uh, I got a six mile easy run, so I'll see you then. Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, I'm sick. Almost escaped the the household sickness, um, but uh, everybody got sick, everybody's healthy, and then I got sick. So I was gonna do an easy run today, and uh, yeah, probably not gonna happen. It's definitely not gonna happen. Not great. Um, tomorrow I was supposed to have a speed workout, that's not looking good either. <laughs> so yeah, it's probably gonna be the end of this video. Uh, my philosophy on getting sick, I know there's a lot of like competing arguments as I was looking this up uh, uh, on the internet today. Uh, I think if you're sick, you should get rest. I know there's a lot of people that are very passionate about the idea that if you're sick, you should like run through it. I'm very tired right now. So I don't think it's a good idea to make myself even more tired. But again, I know people are very passionate about the idea of like trying to run through sickness. Um, I'm not one of those people, so I'm going to take a break. I'm hoping I'll feel better tomorrow, although I don't know. It's not looking good. Like I'm going to be ready to do a speed workout tomorrow. I doubt it. So anyway, uh, that'll be the video for this week. Uh, <laughs> a real downer of an ending, to be honest. Hopefully next week I'll be back uh, healthier than ever. But uh, until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, you know, take your vitamins, drink your water. So yeah, that'll be the video for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.